Dr. Sage here. As we're studying some eukaryotes in microbiology, we need to learn some things about the eukaryotes. In this video, we're going to learn about the external structures and the boundary structures of the eukaryotes. By the end of this video, you should be able to differentiate among the flagellar structures of bacteria, archaea, and eukaryotes. You should be able to describe the important characteristics of a glycocalyx in eukaryotes. You should be able to list which eukaryotic microorganisms might have a cell wall and list similarities and differences between eukaryotic and bacterial cytoplasmic membranes. Now there are some features that all eukaryotic cells have. All eukaryotic cells have a cytoplasmic or plasma membrane. They all have a nucleus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, vacuoles, cytoplasm, and glycocalyx. Some eukaryotic cells, but not all, have a cell wall, locomotor appendages, and chloroplasts. All right, so let's begin talking about these structures. First with the flagella. Eukaryotic versus bacterial flagella. Eukaryotic flagella are about 10 times thicker than bacterial flagella. They're structurally more complex, and they're covered by an extension of the cell membrane. Here's an example of a eukaryotic flagella you can see on this microorganism. They're a long sheathed cylinder containing regularly spaced hollow microtubules. And these microtubules are in a nine plus two arrangement. You can see a electron microscope image of a cross section of the eukaryotic flagella with the nine plus two arrangement here. We can have cilia, which are similar in overall structure to flagella, but they're shorter and more numerous, up to several thousand in some cells. They're found only in a single group of protozoa and certain animal cells. They function as feeding and filtering structures on some cells. We have the glycocalyx, which is the outermost boundary that comes into direct contact with the environment. It's also called an extracellular matrix. It's composed of polysaccharides, and its appearance is a network of fibers, slime layer, or capsule. Some eukaryotic cells have a cell wall. They're found in fungi and algae. They're rigid and provide structural support and shape. They're made out of a different chemical composition than bacterial cells. For example, they're made out of chitin or cellulose in the fungi. All eukaryotic cells have a cytoplasmic or plasma membrane. This is a typical bilayer of phospholipids embedded with proteins. It contains sterols, which stabilize eukaryotic membranes. It's a selectively permeable barrier, which means it lets some things into and out of the eukaryotic cell, but not others and it has sophisticated mechanisms for transporting nutrients in and waste and other products out. All right, well, this is a very quick overview of the external structures and boundary structures of the eukaryotic cells that we study in a microbiology course. Until next time, this has been Dr. Sage.